Hey friends, Doug here with Doug Johnson Productions, Orem, Utah. I wanted to show you guys today a little hack that I've put together to allow me to do telephone audio in a video production environment. So uh, I'm using it for intercom primarily, but you could use it for a production, like a part of your program on a pr program feed or whatever. You know, if you want to have a call-in uh, show that you wanted to do and incorporate audio into your your workflow, there you can certainly do that. But this is designed to be a quick, cheap easy hack in order to get telephone audio into your system. So uh, just by way of background, what I've got going on here in my production trailer is I have IP-based phones, VOIP. And I've got what I've wanted to do for a while is to inter integrate intercom audio. So the director and other members of the crew here in the trailer are being able to talk to remote crew members. So uh, normally we have fiber that we use to communicate with camera operators, but occasionally we'll have camera operators that are further away and we don't have an option for cable and even radios are too far. So uh, we had an event a couple years, a couple, well, a couple months, ago, months ago actually, uh, where we had two camera operators who were a couple miles away and they were streaming to the trailer uh, remotely and we needed a way to communicate with not just the camera operators but the producers that were there on site with them as well and uh, fortunately in that case we were able to use two-way radios but if they, they had been even any further away we would have needed another solution and the one the solution I've come up with is to be able to use telephones so it's part of my business tele, uh, telephone system I can actually do conference calls and I've got a button predefined on on this phone here that dials right into the conference call and from there I hit one button and then that bridges the audio from the intercom straight into the telephone system so uh, it allows us to communicate with people at, at a much longer distance and uh, communicate with as many people as we need to because it is a conference call so the solution again is designed to be ultra cheap ultra simple and it's based around the fact that most business phones have a dedicated headset jack so if we take a look at the back of this particular phone this, this phone is a Grandstream GXP uh, 1625 and I have a cable plugged into the headset jack and that audio coming out of there is basically designed to go directly into a headset but with a little uh, with a real simple adapter we can convert that that's something that we can use uh, in a mixer input and then we can also send audio back into that by doing a little conversion uh, to a microphone level signal and so what I've done is I've run the audio from that over to these two transformers. These these are from a company called RDL, Radio Design Labs, and the model on this is the TX-1A. And the reason I went with these is because not, not only are they uh, transformers that are designed to interface between unbalanced and, out, and balanced audio, they also have the level controls on them as well, and that's kind of important for this particular situation because I need to drop the level of the audio coming from my audio mixer so that it can be used by the telephone. So the uh, color coding isn't necessarily standard. In fact, the wiring on headset jacks isn't necessarily standard, so you might have to do some experimentation. But uh, I've got the red and green wires here. Those are the audio going to the heads headset, the e earphone portion of it. And then the black and red uh, come from the microphone on a headset. So audio from the telephone comes in on the green and red wires. It's converted to balance and then goes out on this cable here and then that connects I've got an XLR connector on the other end and that goes directly into an, uh, an input on my mixer it's pretty close to line level as is and so I'm more or less left that alone audio coming back from the mixer which is its own feed uh, comes from again an XLR connection and that goes into the transformer and then I've got the level control here that drops it to the absolute lowest level that it, this, this device can and then that goes back out to the telephone. So it's bi-directional um, and I'm getting a balanced connection uh, suitable for connection into a mixer. Now a couple of uh, caveats on this. Uh, first of all, telephone audio is really meant to be sort of like a party line system. So everybody who's participating injects their audio onto a single pair of wires, a single signal. So when you talk, your audio is just basically being mixed in with whatever, whatever audio is there. And because of that, uh, you don't want to have the audio coming from your telephone getting mixed back, going through your mixer and then being mixed back into the feed going back to the telephone. Otherwise, you end up with feedback because uh, 
that you're essentially creating a loop. So what you have to do is you have to create a what's referred to as a mix minus uh, coming out of your mixer, which includes all of the audio that you want to send, but not but you need to specifically exclude any audio that's coming from the telephone. Otherwise, you do get into that feedback loop. Now, likewise, and you can run into another problem. Audio coming from your mixer going into the telephone system, some of that will actually come back on uh, on the headset connection as well. So you have to deal with that. Uh, uh, it's a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult to deal with in the days of digital mixers that we're using today. Uh, when back in the analog days, you could do a simple swap the polarity, mix it back in kind of thing. In this day and age, all of our di digital mi mixers add a little bit of delay. And so trying to just invert the polarity and mix that back, back in, uh, it doesn't cancel everything out. So what you have to do is you have to do something a little bit tricky. You either have to do a compressor with a side chain in order to do, to do some ducking so that when your program audio is active, it basically mutes the incoming telephone audio, or use the auto mixer function if your mixer happens to have one so that your uh, director or whoever is speaking locally, uh, whenever they're speaking, it, it basically mutes the incoming telephone audio. So I did a live stream on my channel. Uh, if you look for Ask DJP on my channel, you'll see that we did a live call-in show. I did not have the ducking or auto mix set up, and every time I picked up the phone, you could hear that the audio coming from me was a little bit weird. There were some weird phase cancellation issues going on there because of some of the delays that were involved. So, you know, you get a chance to hear what that sounds like. Uh, if, if I do that again, I will have a solution in place in order to make sure that doesn't happen. But basically, a any audio that gets injected in the, into the telephone system is going to come back to you, so you have to figure out a way to deal with that. Now, back in the day, uh, when we were still doing with all analog gear, uh, there were devices that were fairly common called hybrids that would do a lot of this cancellation for you and also extract the audio from telephone and separate that into separate balanced audio output and then you have a balanced audio input. Uh, those are still available, but finding one for digital phone systems is a little bit more tricky. They're a little bit less common than they used to be. So uh, you can alter alternatively use something like Skype, although you can have some of the same issues there with, with echoes and uh, weird phase problems and, uh, and those sorts of things as well. So. So before I go, I wanted to give you guys a, a chance to hear what this audio actually sounds like. So I'm going to call my business phone line here, and you'll be able to hear what the quality of the audio is like. So uh, dial that, and... Calling DJP. Thanks for calling DJP. Top quality, budget-friendly video production for Northern Utah. Many questions will be answered on our website, djprod.biz. For sales or quotations, press 1. For technical questions or... Anyway, so that gives you an idea of what the, what the audio quality actually sounds like. It's pretty good, and uh, it's not perfect. I mean, these are not perfect impedance matched for the audio coming out of the telephone, but they're, it's close enough. It's about as good as you're going to get out of a telephone system. So from start to finish, uh, between buying the telephone... And the transformers, I'm well under 100 bucks. I got the phone for 30. I actually had these transformers already, but if you needed to pick them up, they're not very expensive. And you don't have to use this one. Uh, uh, basically, any transformer that is converts balanced audio to unbalanced audio will work, although you do need to do something about attenuation for audio coming back into the telephone system. But anyway, so there you go. If you, if you guys have questions about this uh, or have a solution that you think may be better, please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, appreciate any feedback you guys happen to have. If you haven't seen it yet, I wanted to make another public announcement about the website that I've created, crewaxis.com. It's basically a site for managing all aspects of your video, video production business. So it's a place to plan your events, to hire your crew, communicate with your crew, keep track of your equipment, all those kinds of things. And there is a free trial, an unlimited trial, in, in terms of uh, expiration never expires, so there's a free account that you can sign up for there, and there's also paid accounts with varying levels of, of features that you can take a look at. There's a nice feature chart that you can see what you get each, at each different pricing level. We've got over 20 people on the site so far, and they seem to be, so far they seem to be pretty happy. I haven't heard any complaints, so go check that out. So anyway, if you guys have other questions or comments, please let me know. I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I try to do video production-related content about once a week, and and if you guys have ideas for things you want me to cover, please let me know that as well. So thanks again for watching, and have a fantastic day.